Well now, isn't this nice a regular family out? Thanks for lunch, Daddy. Yeah, yeah thanks. thanks. Well, now that y'all all know each other, we can do this more often. If you kick me under the table one more time, Look, I swear I I'm going I can't gonna... help it. We don't got a lot of room down there. All right, now, you two cut it out. Look at my babies arguing like regular siblings. <laughs> well, now y'all tell me some more about yourselves. I'd like to get to know you a little bit better. Without y'all living in the same place, we could... We could make this a regular thing. Well, I have some kind of exciting news. Hey, Daddy, yeah. can you teach me how to shave and tie a tie and, and, uh, and how to pick up chicks? You already know how to do all that. Oh, yeah, I do. Hey, hey, Al, don't Ow. touch me. Oh, you son of a bitch. All right, now, now settle down there, pumpkin. Are they always like this? Yeah. Yeah, Daddy, she's mean. <gasps> me? Maybe if you'd leave me the hell alone and quit bringing up, you know, what happened. Maybe I wouldn't have to be so mean to you. Poor little Danny Ray. Too stupid to know when he's asking for a beat down. Hey, don't call me stupid. If you didn't want to talk about it, you shouldn't have done it. I didn't know what I was doing. Well, well I bet you different. Enough. Danny Ray, that'll be quite enough of that. I do not want you to bring up that subject again. You be respectful to your sister. And Jodine, don't you be calling your brother names. You know how easily his pride is bruised. Okay? Fine. Fine. All right. Then you two go on and hug it out. Go on. Mm. I forgot how much your hair smelled like apple. Oh, did he right? He just I, said not to mention it. I was it. talking about hair, not bone it. What is wrong with you, did he right? Why are you never talking about anything here? All you've ever been about is bone it, and I can't even believe it. A few weeks ago, I applied to Sharp County Community College. I didn't tell anybody I was going to apply because I didn't know if I'd get in and I didn't want Linda to make a big deal about it. But I didn't want anybody to be let down if I didn't get in. But I got in. I got in. I'm going to college. <laughs> Yay! Dear, what are you doing? You're not even on the right side. Backspace. Hey, y'all, I have some really exciting news. Yeah, at least May, please. We are in the middle of a million dollar idea. No, this is really big Hold news. Hold on. We need to think yeah, for a just second. Give us a minute to think. Your story's going to still be there. I'm trying to make us rich. Hey. Hello. Hello. Are you going to tell me what it is you're doing? Yeah, Daryl's going to make us rich. Yeah, how? I'm starting a bug spoon lottery. You're starting a lottery? Uh, yeah. You can't just start a lottery, y'all. That's, that's illegal. That's part of the fun. Uh, yeah, that's part of the draw. It's dangerous. It's risky. Why are you trying to ruin this? I'm not trying to ruin anything. I just don't want you to get in trouble. Oh, we ain't going to get in trouble. Lisa May, you're being kind of a weenie. Uh, Daryl! Don't call her a weenie! Well, that's what she's being. Oh, my God. Look, I'm just sitting here trying to put it all together. Yeah, you're sitting there trying to put it all to... wrong. I'm going to do it for you from here on out. How do you, where's the delete button? All this got to go. Don't ask. I found this on the floor. Yeah, thanks, Bubba.
My genius strikes again. It really did, y'all. Dang Skippy. The other day, me and the boys was all sitting around talking about our jobs. We was all working for our next to nothing, just working our butts off and decided we'd had enough. Lamar popped up and said that we was all being held down by the man. I told him my boss was a woman, but he said that she was still the man anyways. And I told him that, yeah, I know that she's mean and she got a mustache, but that don't mean that she's going to be a man or anything. My mama always Daryl, get to the point. Right. Anyway, we decided enough was enough. In the history of the human race, there ain't never been a better way to get by in this world than with hard work, determination, and a little bit of luck. Dewey had a whole bunch of them scratch cards from the feeding swap down on Maynard Street. So he paid five bucks a piece for them, and he had a fistful of them. It got me to thinking. So I went down to Pauline's print shop, taxidermy and tanning salon, and decided to print up my own. We're going to sell them for $3 a piece and see who wins. The payout is $500. $500, y'all. Yep, and we've already made 800 selling the tickets. And so many people keep asking about them, I can barely print enough to keep up. I figured we're gonna make a buttload of money off of this, so I went and told my boss lady man to shove it and struck out on my own. Meet Daryl Danger Wolfhausen, businessman. <laughs> It wasn't even really that hard. See, you just you take the ticket and then you, you put some of that scratch stuff down on it and then boom, instant millionaire. Almost instant. This is really gonna set us up for the future. We're gonna be able to do what we want and work for ourselves and be independent. It's the American dream, y'all. Mm-hmm. And I got my mind right this time. No more wasting time and money trying to figure out what kind of car I'm gonna drive like back in my bootlegging days. Almost bootlegging. Tomato, potato, whatever. Now, I figured all that out before I printed up the tickets. I'm going to get that Cadillac with the animal print like in Scarface. I've always wanted a Cadillac. They say we're fancy without showing off too much. Yep. And I figured out a way for us to not get in trouble. And to get Lisa made and not be so nervous about it. The chief of police already bought 20 tickets. So we're pretty much golden. I think I'm gonna take the whole family over to Professor Wiggly's water park. It's fun for everybody. Me, I'm gonna buy me a limousine. I'm gonna be driving up and down the street like a superstar, like Burt Reynolds. See, I'm already starting the mustache. I think that I'll use the money to get a house cleaning service out to give my home a good once over. Maybe a lawn care service too. I'm getting a butler. Like one of those English types, like Alfred from Batman? With $500, I might could put in those garden platforms. You know, the ones you don't have to bend over to pick your beans? I don't like the way that neighbor guy looks over his fence. I'm going to buy me a clear plastic fence so I don't have to strain my neck so much. Spa day. No work, no stress, just spa day. Quit my job, no worries, no stress, no problem. Just save it for a rainy day. This is a ridiculous microphone. So I just talk? <clears throat> well, uh, I guess I I'm just gonna go to the strip club, make it rain, you know? I'm about to go to the strip club anyway. I gotta go take a shower and prime myself up, if you know what I mean. Well, she did it. No one ever knew she was trying. But it's a big thing. I don't know anyone who's went to college before. But... Well, except for uh, Cowboy Doug and Sheriff Wade, and Mr. P, and Dewey. Dewey went to car college. <laughs> so I know some people that went to college, but still, it's a big thing. And, and I feel like I should do something for her. Like I could throw her a party, but not like a Wenda and Daryl party, like a fancy party, a reception. <laughs> Those are fancy, right? How do I do that? But I've never thrown a party before, especially a reception, especially for a girl, especially for Lisa May. Let's see here, we got champagne and sparkling wine. What's the difference? What? They were out of congratulations, and Lisa May is a girl. 
I mean, you can't have a reception without balloons. This ain't Mississippi. Congratulations on college. Get in and all. Baba. <laughs> wow. Do you like it? I tried real hard. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Baba, I'm going to college, not having a baby. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, if you like that, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do, you, do you want some... something? <laughs> so you wouldn't have... No! You don't get to talk anymore. We were about to announce the winning ticket numbers when it turns out this genius just printed hundreds of the same ticket, so everybody won. Now everybody's mad and wants their money back. Some people in this town have very unrealistic expectations of what they could get for $500. It looks like it will be just another summer with a sprinkler in the backyard. Like hell I'm taking it back. It's already bought. I already got the loan for it. You're just gonna have to get used to it. Dewey's a limo owner. All I wanted was for my house to be clean and for these hands to not have to do it. Jesus. We can't get rid of Alfred. He's already moved his family here from England land. I don't care if your neck hurts. It's an invasion of my privacy. Well, if you wanted privacy, you should have built that fence higher or had an uglier ass. The damn crooks, they took all my money. Said they were gonna give me my money, did they? No, left me with nothing, nothing. I'm a killer, Daryl. Still going to the strip club. And now all I have to do is register for classes and get my books and I'll be good to go. Oh, an orientation, it's this thing where they show us around campus and give us a free lunch or something like that. Well, that all sounds swell. Are you nervous at all? Oh, yeah. A lot. Uh, you'll do great. And if you need any help studying, I'll help you. Thank you, Bubba. <laughs> I can't believe you did all this. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a big thing getting into college. You deserve a celebration. Bubba, I think this is the nicest thing anybody has ever done for me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Do you need any help cleaning up for anything? Yeah, 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 that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Daryl, mm -hmm. why did you print 800 of the same damn ticket? I was trying to economize. And you didn't think that printing 800 of the same ticket wouldn't cause a problem? Well, how was I supposed to expect anybody else to? Daryl, we sold 800 tickets at $3 a pop. Mm -hmm. That's $2,400. Mm -hmm. The payout was $500. Mm -hmm. That leaves $1,900. Then we paid $250 a piece to have them printed because you had to have the fancy ass paper. That's $2,000. Well, why don't we just give everybody's money back? Oh, God, I know you can't do math. That ain't true. There last you to go to the store last week for a loaf of bread and a gallon of milk, and you asked me for $75. I just heard something about inflation. Oh, Daryl, we made negative $100 on this lottery. Uh-huh. And that means... That means that we need $100 to have $0. Oh. That means... That means all these people that want to kill you are going to have to get in line. gave me fake money. How much money you got? I got a, a one, a 10, and a 20. Well, they're $5 a piece. 
Here are three. And I'll get you two. All right, they're five dollars a piece. How many you want? I ain't, I ain't got no money on me at the moment. Well, what you got? Uh. Got my lucky Pokemon. It's a good deal. I'm gonna go tell Jameson. All right. Hey, tell him to bring his Pokemans too. <laughs>